people, and I'm so, so guilty of this of myself, we just complain too much and just have so many unimportant excuses. I'm Isabel Wheel, I'm 14 years old and I'm a quadruple amputee. First question, I suppose, is are you a Wilsoner? Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm subscribed. Would you mind just talking us through it again? You know, what, yeah, what actually sure. happened? So when I was seven, I got meningitis. So it all happened really quickly. Like I went to school that morning and I was like perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And I got sent home about midday-ish. And then by the end of the day, it escalated massively and I just felt really ill. So my parents had rang me an ambulance and straight away they were treating it as meningitis. And then I got put in an induced coma and then I got transferred to a like a bigger hospital that would be able to deal with it better. Mm -hmm. And I was in the coma for like a week and a half. And then I was in the hospital for like nine weeks, I think. And then after like about a month, I think it was, it had to amputate my arms and legs because the meningitis had like basically killed them. It's the smile, you know, it's infectious. And, and to think, you know, to really put things in perspective and to think about the things, like I said at the start, that I've complained about today, that you've complained about today. You know, Izzy is an incredible girl. Getting to meet her and getting to see, you know, after what she's been through, the story is unbelievable, that she's just happy and doing what she loves. Yeah, <laughs> in love with trampolining. Yeah. So do you want to tell us how you got into trampolining? So when I started secondary school, so I think I was about 11, 12, mm -hmm. it, there was a trampolining club at my school. And I was just like, just, you know, go along, let's do what my friends are doing. And my teacher was like so accommodating, she was like letting me do whatever. A couple weeks later, I was like, I'm actually quite good at this. And I think it was, I started that in September. And by December, she'd entered me to a first competition mm -hmm. and I won it. You're not yeah. just in love with trampolining, you're a champion. So I went to a competition a couple months after I first started. Next year, I did that one again. I went through to the second round and then I went through to the finals which was Nationals, and then I won that one. That was like amazing. That was so cool, yeah. How many swivel lips have you done? Nine's my maximum. Nine. We could, we could beat that today, though. Should have said it was lower. I oh, know, you, you could have said two. Yeah, no, said, can't nah, do three. I believe in you, I believe in you. Ten swivel lips, that'd be big. I don't think I could do ten anyway. <laughs> now versus Izzy. Swivel hips. Seven. 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 That was so good. Draw. Well, that's I'm ever... <laughs> All right. I like this fighting talk. With this content, with this video, I do want to strike a chord with you know one, two, three, four people watching it. I hear people complaining about dumb shit traffic jam, you know, tired today, it's raining outside, something that's out of your control, why Why would you make yourself feel like that over something that's out of your control and, and so very little, you know, what do you think Izzy's complaining about? You can and you probably likely will fail doing something that you hate, so why not do something that you love to do every day? Like on my, obviously on my channel I've talked about it a lot in terms of going through setbacks and being open about it. So do you have any advice to people going through a hard time? Just do what you want and keep pushing to do it on. Like, I'm not saying anything I was going through has been easy. You've got to make it look easy. So you've just got to keep like pushing through and be strong to keep going. Your story and, and is truly, truly inspirational and, and put things in perspective. This is gonna make this is gonna make YouTube history. That's what we do on this channel. And then all my schoolwork and all my homework is my teacher's ass. And you film it all as well? Yeah, sometimes like, it depends what video it is. So I have to wait for them to all go out because otherwise they're really noisy. My house is madness as well. My, my family's just joining. <laughs> Don't tell me that's yours. That's not mine, but I'm, <laughs> I'm working with the race driving team. I'm going to start race driving soon. Awesome. They're called Team Brit. So we're working at the moment to get a car adapted so I can drive it. Make sure you follow it on Instagram. <laughs>
<laughs> Gratitude, empathy, perspective, qualities that spring to mind. And, and I think something that I try and deploy every single day in my life and, and things aren't easy. On my YouTube channel, I'm telling a story about my neck injury, documenting this journey, the troubles that I'm having, the way I'm feeling. To meet such a phenomenal young girl like Izzy, just take a step back and think, <laughs> what? I mean nothing, no. and to have that humility, I think, again, is something, the message that I want to put across to, to my audience, to the to you guys watching this. I have that, I feel like I am the, you know, I put across that I want to be the best, that I am the best, but matched with being the most humble person I can and having the humility. Let's talk about the YouTube channel. It's about 60,000 6, subscribers. 6,000 6, Amazing. I didn't expect it to ever get that big. So, so what's your sort of passion and love for the, for the channel? Well, I started it just showing people what I could do because I've got questions and I still get questions about absolutely everything from like, how do you trampoline to like, how do you do makeup? So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to film it and then I can say, we'll go watch it instead of me trying to explain it because it was so, it was getting really difficult to try and explain. And so now it's got quite a few subs and it's just like pretty cool that I can share and you still do whatever you want with like a group of people, it's pretty big. Just make sure you subscribe to it. <laughs> He's so, so inspiring and, and it's an absolute honour to me. Oh, um, should we do some trampolining? Yeah. Fuck! Right, we're doing it! Yeah, no, it's actually annoying me. <laughs> we need four hours. Yeah. Joking, joking. It's five. Hey. I don't know what I was telling it. <laughs> that was either 11 or 9, I'm sure. I'm guessing that was 11. <laughs> <laughs> One hour later. YouTube history. We're making it. I'll give it. I'm yeah. scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. YouTube history. Like that and then. We're changing the game. We're changing the game. <laughs> Wilson is definitely going to subscribe to us. The best stuff to that. To hear is his story is phenomenal, it, it makes me emotional and, and I think the more I can just tell people what is your excuse to not do what you love? What is your excuse to not do what you want to do every single day and really go after your dreams? First step is finding out what you do want and, and this is something my dad has said, Neil Wilson, is it's not the thing that happens to you, it's your attitude towards it.